All right, so this part of the video is kind of boring because I'm just trying to get it out of the goddamn box. I'm doing a voiceover right now, just so y'all know. Um, <clears throat> there's going to be a lot of voiceovers in this just because I beat, I was still learning how to assemble this thing myself. But after I actually got it done and I'm looking at it, it, all, it makes perfect sense. It's easy. So it's just easier for me to make the video and then do voiceovers after and explain what's going on. Because when I'm trying to explain it while I'm doing it, it just, that's when I'm fucking up. So, you can uh, go ahead and watch this unboxing part, and then I will pop back in. Alright, so this part, I started to struggle a little bit. I was trying to get the stupid um, foam stuff off, but there was cables and stuff right there, and I didn't want to cut the cables, so I had to be really careful about where I cut it. I mean, they package this thing <laughs> crazy. It's like, I, I don't know what they were thinking, but anyways, <laughs> well, you got to cut right where the cable is. It's a little sketchy, so if you buy one of these, just... Be careful when you're taking it out of the packaging, because it is packaged. I mean, they wrap that thing in every fucking thing they can. Alright, so this part, I had a really hard time attempting to show it, so I just didn't put it in the footage, but I'll, I'll show show you what it is in a second. Um, that's the handlebars that I just pulled out. So, the handlebars do not come attached. They come unattached, just so you know. Alright, so there's the two little boxes that I'm pulling out. They have the chargers in them. This thing does have two charging ports. And they say it takes six hours to charge with two charging ports. It's still about seven-something hours. That's a, a solid seven hours for sure.
He is good. Pretty good for me. <laughs> Alright, so, just so you guys know, I'm not interrupting the uh, assembly video. That's what I'm doing right now, Dan. I'm making... This is an addition to my scooter assembly video. Yeah. So, we got the scooter right here. Um, so, one thing I didn't show on the footage that I wanted to is right you know, here... You didn't show? The chocolate shake? <laughs> guest star Naughty Danny YouTube channel will be in the description. Um, yeah, he does have his own YouTube channel. You've probably seen his videos. So there's two screws. As you saw, this was just a pole. Just a straight pole going up. The damn thing was hanging by these fucking cables. Um, well, they had it strapped in with like foam and shit. But anyways, so I'll eat this thing up off the ground. And this whole piece right here slides onto this bar. <laughs> now we're advertising for free. You can't do that. Not for free. Um... So then, you know, you got, it comes with those Allen wrenches, and these are just Allen wrench screws. So yeah, you put this on here, it'll slide up all the way down here if you want it to, which I don't know why you would, but if you wanted to, you could. Or it will go all the way to the top of this. And I wanted to make it flush, so I, I made that. Eh, there's a slight lip, but nothing crazy. And the thing that's a pain in the ass with this thing is this goddamn seat. We struggled and fucking struggle with this thing. So, obviously, this does not come attached to these. You have to put these things on yourself. Oh, this is a pain in the ass right there. Yeah, well, we stripped the fuck out of these bolts. So, we actually put this on backwards the first time. So, there's these little grooves. I'm going to try to show you. There's these little grooves, as you can see right there, that lock into the middle on here. And we didn't notice that when we were putting the seat together. So we put it on backwards, which is why these bolts got so stripped. Cause we, I couldn't figure out why the seat kept on tilting. Well, that's why. So I'm going to have to buy a few new bolts. Um, it is what it is, but for now, that's fine. I'm not too worried about it. They're just bolts. They're cheap. <coughs> but that was the biggest struggle ever. And that is the biggest piece of advice I could give when assembling this whole thing. Because that was the biggest fucking struggle. Um, and obviously this down here, which I don't think I showed this either, but I should have. So, this thing holds all the way back, locks back in place. There's a little thing right here that you can press. If I can find it. Yeah. You just push that up, whole seat folds up. So, don't do that when you're riding it, though, because, you know... Then you got something right up <laughs> in the butt. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. Yeah, I wouldn't want to sit on that pole. <laughs> so there's uh these two things clip in together. Gotta see what's behind me, make sure there's no fucking spiders in the wall. Um <laughs> So these two things are not connected and they bolt in together, so you need two Allen wrenches, and it only comes with one that's the right size, so super convenient. Luckily I had extra Allen wrenches. And you got to put one in here, keep it tight, and tighten the other one. So, not rocket science at all. The seat does fold down, but even when you fold the seat down to the lowest point, the handlebars are still too much in the way, and it just... The scooter isn't really made for folding with the seat. It's made for folding if you have it in stand-up mode, but not with a seat. So, there's this thing. Push it. Little lever thingy. And you got this, tighten it back down. I don't think I need to really be showing that, but I am. Um, so that's pretty damn simple, honestly. But that seat, I wanted to make sure I showed that with those grooves because very important. And if you do get it tight enough where you can sit on it and ride it down the road without having those grooves lined up, your seat will fall backwards. And if you're going 50 and your seat goes like that all of a sudden you know I'm, I'm just saying you got something to think about all right so one thing i didn't figure out on this thing until after i was riding it around for a little while it did not come with this this foam mount and it did not come with this mirror and it did not come with this bag but if you want links to that stuff on amazon because it fits on the scooter really well just uh 
you know, I can put it in the description or if I have enough people ask in the comments, I would do that. But I'm not going to do it unless people ask. So these two buttons, it's kind of hard to see. But as you can see, they're both farther out right now. And if I push them, they go farther in. So this is how this works. When it's pushed out, you're on a, you're automatically on turbo with this one. But when you push it in, you go to eco mode, which is slow as fuck. I don't use it unless I'm just riding around my neighborhood. It's fast enough for riding around the neighborhood. And you got the single and dual motor button. So if it's out like this, you're on single motor. And that is the rear motor. If you push it in, you get the front motor. And when you push that, you're going to go lightning speed. And it is dangerous. So whatever you do, if you're on dual motor, make sure you already got some speed. And I wouldn't recommend doing it on gear three unless you're trying to go 50 miles per hour. All right, so the turn signals do not come attached. You gotta screw those in yourself. The wires are through it. The bolts are already on the wires. So it's pretty simple. I just did it with my fingers. Um, and I rode around for a little bit and they were still attached, everything was fine. I tightened them up with an actual wrench later on, but I just wanted to get this thing put together because I was just really stoked to ride it around. And it was like, damn, what was it, like two, three in the morning? Yeah, it was late, that's for damn sure. Yeah, so you know, we we didn't get done until 4 a.m. Yeah, and yeah. then I had to be at work the next day at yeah. 11. It's like, that's right. I just wanted to get it done. So there are a few things I could have done a little bit better, tightened up a little bit better, but I did that shit later on. Sorry for two and a half men being in the background. I figured there was worse background noise. We probably should have turned it down before we recorded, but we didn't really think about it. So, apologize for that. At this point, I'm checking the odometer to make sure there's no miles on the scooter because there's a lot of people in the review section of it that were getting scooters that already had anywhere from like 20 to 50 miles on them. Some, some of them a few more miles than that. None of them were over 100 though. So I had to make sure that I got a brand new scooter. Okay. No, 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 don't, don't, don't just say okay. This is not the grown-up telling the kid what to do. This is just two guys agreeing how to live together. Are we cool? Yeah. Cool. Hey. What's going on? Here, turn this. I, I want to push the throttle down just a little bit. <laughs> just, bad idea. This thing's got so much power. I have to run a quick errand. Oh. That's a nice break. You just can't even see it on the road. How, how bright is the tail lights? Put that on. Turn signals. Cool. You're going to Judas, aren't you? No. <laughs> then where are you going? 
students. It's like a car horn, dude. That won't be funny if you, you wake your mom up, though. Oh, it's just a seat, right? Over there on the counter. Okay, with extra brake pads. Cool. That's nice. Yep. That just clipping. I see a screw or something on this side. They, atta they attach to the seat. Look at the instructions for crying out loud. What? Might have to Google it online then. Yeah. <laughs> Choosing your electric school, please read the operation manual carefully. Keep the warranty card on the proper properly. Hope you have a pleasant ride and environmental okay. friendly. Okay. They apologize for waking me up. I said, you didn't wake me up. I'll put this up anyways. He might, might be. Thing and then he goes and does another. He's 10. He's got the attention span of a plumber. 
Well, then what am I supposed to do when he ignores me? You punish him. You can take away his computer, his TV, his toys. You already took away all the good stuff. What am I supposed to take away? This bronchial inhaler? You know what I'm saying, Charlie? You know? Just the way you're loved. You know? Yeah, you're right. You know? at this moment he realized he fucked up all right so i figured i would do a little cruise well i mean i was going anyways i had my phone mount and i said fuck it i'll make a little video i didn't go 50 no not in this video the speed limit on this road is 35 um I push 40, so you can see the scooter hit 40. It can go 50. I did test it. I'm not going to tell you where or on what road or anything like that, but I did test it. It goes 50. It's a little scary on those tiny tires going 50, but it can do it. It can. It's a that's a machine. It's got power. So uh, you can enjoy this little adventure I took right here. <laughs> 